So I don't come from a customer marketing background at all. I'm I'm an actor. <laughs> I've got a BA in drama. Um, but everything that I've learned, I guess, has been through doing, as in being with real life people and serving uh, people and welcoming clients and customers over the last 10 years. But also, I've done a lot of courses and learned a lot of stuff, lots of which has not quite been for me. Because sometimes when people talk about customers and clients, they they make them really faceless. They make them almost like um, ticks or or robots, like just get 10 people in and charge them this, and then this is how you make it. And they stick post-it notes on or do whiteboard situations. And, you know, if you've got masses and thousands and millions of people you know you might not have that personalized touch but I think as business owners we really can and we have that opportunity here to deliver excellence and be there in that customer service experience. I knew that from the beginning I did not want to sit on sales calls with people who had no interest in buying or didn't um, value what I did. And I think there was a real sense of, I mean, the bro marketers used to say all the time of like, I can sell anything to anybody. I just, you know, I I meet the, I meet the resistance and we push through it. And then the next thing they're paying thousands of pounds. And I'm like, but do they need that thing? Like I always just kept coming back to integrity and serving people in that way. Um, Today I want to talk about how I can help you in my strategy session in terms of your customer's journey. So because I don't want to sit on sales calls and just randomly DM people and go, I will give you two hours of my time and just sell to you and give you a free coaching call with them not really knowing anything about it, Um, I I don't want to do that. And so I am always being very strategic and thoughtful about what that customer journey might be like. And your customer journey is not just when they make the purchase. Although, as my mum says, if it's too difficult to pay you, I'm not going to make the payment. I'm going to make go and make a cup of tea. And there's a lot of sense in that. But the customer journey starts way earlier. It's very much from the place of them getting to know you. And there have been many people over the years who have purchased things from me. And I have no idea who they are, what they're all about, what their business is. We haven't had an interaction before. But yet, the work that I have put into place about the customer journey has clearly felt enough that they are feeling safe enough to make the purchase. So if you want to make more sales, if you want to welcome in more of the right people, but you just don't want to sit on sales call all day, let's think about this from all of the elements of how you position yourself online to make sure that the actions that you're taking are bringing people closer rather than just repelling them and you wasting loads of time on things you don't need to do. I hope that's been useful. I'll see you next time. Bye.